Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am actually sharing a pretty old video with you guys. I am finally prepared and ready to share it. Um, it is near and dear my to my heart and I could finally um, share it without completely losing it. So I hope you guys are ready and are looking forward to it. Okay, so to save time, I have already done this, but you're gonna need some transfer paper. I've added this to the screen so you guys know exactly what to purchase. And of course, I'll go ahead and add it down below. And all you need is a regular printer. You are going to, of course, um, select the picture of your choice and then you're going to print it out. You're just going to follow the directions on the actual um, transfer paper. Now I picked the dark fabric transfer paper because I was going to be using dark fabric but they have the light stuff and it's 13 bucks for I believe it was 10 pieces of paper or pages. Um, so quite inexpensive. You don't need any fancy equipment whatsoever. I'm using basic scissors to cut it out. As mentioned, the actual transfer paper um, package has all of the instructions, so they're very easy to follow. You really can't mess this up, you guys. Now, the fabric is up to you guys. Um, I got the black fabric from Dollar Tree, um, and I got this cute little um, paw print uh, one from Walmart. They're very inexpensive, literally like a buck. Um, each and we are going to create a memorial pillow for my little guy um, so again um, you guys just need to pick the fabric of your choice or fabrics um, if you would like to recreate this now I want to preface this video by saying that I am absolutely horrible at sewing even straight lines you guys I am awful now if you are good at sewing by all means please go that route the you know power to you guys I envy you I have two little sisters and a mother who are amazing at sewing I just am not one of those but anyway what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and lay out our material we're gonna go ahead and design it uh, we're gonna decide how we want our pillow to look we're gonna go ahead and iron all of the little um, creases on it um, and then we're going to get to actually uh, putting down our pictures to the actual fabric um, to start seeing our pillow come to life.
guys, so as you guys got to see, I went ahead and just followed the directions and added the pictures of my sweet Genji. And I did end up using vinyl for the words, but you guys can also use transfer paper. I just didn't want to have a background and that's why I use vinyl. So keep that in mind when and if you choose to do this project. So I know it's hard to read, but it says you were my favorite hello and my hardest goodbye. And then there's a heart with a paw print and his name Genji. I love and miss him more than I can express. Anyway, here I am trying to figure out how it is I want to lay out my pillow. And once I've decided, I'm going to go ahead and start putting it together. So just to clarify, I do go in and iron the paw print um, fabric as well. So don't think that I didn't do that. I will show you a little bit of me doing that here, but I don't want to bore you with me ironing the whole piece. So as I mentioned, I do not know how to sew you guys. And so I love this stuff. It is called adhesive tape. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's like a bonding adhesive tape and that is what I'm going to be using to put my pillow together. Now, again, if you're a sewer and you know how to sew, by all means, go for it. But this is what I'm going to be utilizing. I will, of course, make sure to go ahead and leave the description um, down below. But basically, this um, iron-on adhesive tape is so freaking cool. I love it, you guys. And that is what we are using to do this pillow. Well guys, after sewing it all together, I did end up going around with a ribbon and just adding a bow on the very corner to finish off the product. And I absolutely love it with all of my heart. And up to this date, almost a full year later, I still have it in the same place that I put it the day that I finished it, right by my fireplace and I will have it for many, many years to come. My apologies, as always, my corgi has to make an appearance in the background. All right, you guys, so for this very last project, isn't my boy just the handsomest guy you've ever seen? I love my Sheba so much, I miss him. I, I know I said that already, but oh, my heart hurts just thinking of him. But before I get all emotional, we are gonna do the same process, you guys, but this time I 
made a little memorial for him in my backyard and we are going to be creating a flag and the same concept applies. We are going to be using the same transfer paper and I am going to be using some dollar store material that I actually found um, with red paw prints. So I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I still have it up again almost a full year later you guys. Everything that you do, I make so much progress when I'm here with you. You hold all the pieces, all of me in your hands. So as you guys saw, I used the black material for the back side and then the red paw prints for the front side because I wanted it to be sturdy and last through all the elements. As you know, I live in Utah and we definitely get all of the elements. So once I have basically my layout figured out, I go ahead and place everything down. And then on this one, I did go ahead and use a sewing machine, you guys. As I mentioned, I am terrible at sewing. Um, the This one I felt a little more confident just because they're straight lines, but even then I can't tell you that it was perfect. But I know my sweet Genji appreciates it because I did it for him. And because I knew it was going to be outdoors, I wanted something a little more sturdy. Um, but all you're doing is just a little fold on the top so that you can put it through your pole or your um, flag holder. I think it goes without saying, but I have neglected to, to mention that you could use a basic regular iron. I just happen to have my Cricut um, iron press. Um, but yeah, so if you just wanted to recreate this, of course it doesn't have to be a memorial type item. You can do your own flag just because, you can do your own pillow just because, um, but you can do everything with just a regular iron. When you get everything laid down and ironed on the way you want it, go ahead and of course sew it and get it all together. I ended up putting a couple of bows in the corner. Bows are just kind of my thing, you guys. Of course, if you want it, do it. If you don't, then don't. Um, they ended up staying, surprisingly. Um, I went in with some 
um, super glue and then hot glue um, just to keep it right then and there. And then I burn the edges so that they wouldn't fray. They're still fraying going on because of all of the elements. The flag is very faded now. And this is why I thought about it is because I am going to be making him a new one for 2023. And as you guys saw, I went ahead and like I did with the pillow, I went around with a ribbon just to add that extra little touch. And you guys, that pretty much concludes my own flag. I have done my own flags in the past on my channel and I just really love it. And I really love my space in the back that I created for my Genji, my little memorial that I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys now. Here is the flag and I love the way that it looks. And you guys, I get so many compliments with people that come over. I also created his little rock. I'll show you a short video showing you how I made that. And here is his little whole space that I made just for him, for my baby boy that I miss so, so much. But I know he's looking down on me. And here's the video I wanted to share if you guys don't already follow me on TikTok so you can see it for yourself. I love you, baby boy. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already.